welcome students in the previous videos we have seen so many problems from the topic from the chapter permutations okay there are different types of problem here and we have already solved so many types of the problems here we are going to introduce we are going to discuss uh, a special type of uh, problems of permutation when uh, n things are given but all the things are not different okay so here our topic is permutation of objects not all different okay so suppose number of objects is given n total number of objects total number of objects is equal to n but all n objects are not different then how to get permutation how to get maximum possible arrangements of these objects okay suppose let p objects are alike out of this n p objects are alike of same kind again also q objects are alike of same kind r objects are alike of same kind and rest of the objects are different okay so out of these n objects there are some like elements number of these like elements is p another type of like elements that is q and another type of like elements that number is r then and rest of the objects are different okay then how to get number of permutations here okay we have already discussed previously that if total number of objects is n and we have to arrange here all the n objects and all the objects all the n objects are of different kind then we find the number of permutations that is n factorial n factorial because formula is npr is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial if you follow this formula then here it will be n factorial by n minus n factorial that is n factorial by 0 factorial and as we know 0 factorial is 1 so this will be simply n factorial okay so here also in this case also total number of objects is n and we have to arrange all the objects together but there are three different groups uh, p objects are uh, of the same kind q objects are of the same kind r objects are of the same kind and rest of the objects are different okay so in this case here in this case number of arrangements of these n objects taken all at a time will be how much total number of objects is n factorial but p objects are alike so we will divide it by p factorial q factorials are of alike so this will be q factorial and r factorial r uh, objects are alike so r factorial so this is the formula which we are going to use in the videos that will uh, be prepared that videos to come where we will see that if all the objects are not different then by following this formula we can get the total number of objects total number of permutations so please note down this formula and use it whenever it will be required, whenever all the objects are not of the different kind.